Hello, I am Rachel Andrews, and thank you for watching the first mini class of Sephiris.com. So, each mini class will be updated once a week, and I welcome your comments and questions in the comment section below, either on Sephiris.com, on the mini class page, or on YouTube. And uh, I'll answer every question you have, and you can um, help each other out. You can answer other people's questions. You can comment on other people's uh, observations. So this will be really fun. All right, the first class starts with observing. So whenever you're out in your yard or out of the grocery store, in your car, anywhere new, anywhere besides your house, um, you want to really open up all of your senses and observe what's going on around you. Um, we'll get to where this leads in a little bit, but observe is the keyword of the week. So say you're in your backyard, okay? Um, listen, do you hear any bugs? Do you hear any birds? Do you hear other people? Do you have neighbors? Are they playing the radio? Are they talking? You don't want to get involved with what's going on. You just want to notice it. So you notice what's going on. You notice the layers of the sounds, right? So you can hear a bee buzzing, and then you can hear a bird in the background, and maybe there's a radio down the street, All right? And this goes for the supermarket, it goes for the mall, it goes for anywhere you are. You know, you'll hear the individual sounds first, and then you'll hear the full spectrum. You'll hear all the layers of sound, All right? So once you have a grasp on that, you don't even have to move your head, just look. You know, open up your peripheral vision. See everything that's there, okay? You're gonna start to see different things, like they'll pop up. People have this thing called selective attention, all right? So if you're really focused on one thing, uh, you're not gonna see everything else. That's true. I did a, actually, I did a, a project on that in social psychology where you're instructed to watch someone playing basketball. The person's dribbling a basketball, right? You're supposed to count how many times the person dribbles the basketball. But what you don't notice until you watch it a second time is that there's actually a lady with an umbrella walking in the middle of the room. You don't even see it. I was really shocked when I saw that. So anyway, selective attention will keep you focused on one thing and then you'll miss everything else. Uh, and most people are so in their heads that they're focused on that one thing. So you're going to observe the visual field. You're just going to let your eyes relax and you'll feel your face getting softer. You'll feel around here relax, you'll feel here relax, you'll feel here relax. And you just want to see as much as you can see. Again, without getting involved, you just want to observe. All right? You know, and then feel what's under your feet. You know, is the floor hard? Is it soft? Is it grass? You know, is the dirt soggy underneath the grass? Just feel, you know, feel the air on your skin. Is it damp? Is it dry? Engage all your senses. Um, you know, is there any weird smell? You know, is there a smell in the breeze that's not in the area of where you are? You know, you can only smell it while it's passing by. Um, if you're in a grocery store, do different sections smell differently? You're, you're beginning to engage all of your senses. And you know what that does? It picks up your spirit sense, your intuition, you know, your higher self. When you engage all of your normal senses, um, the spirit has room to trickle in. And so it's going to make a bigger impact. And if you've been doing the other stuff, the other videos uh, where you are developing your intuition and you're getting used to the feel of it, this will make even a bigger difference. So go back and watch the other videos if you haven't already. Um, so what you're going to feel after you've engaged all your senses in your environment and then you have the space for the spirit to come in is things are going to look slightly different. So for instance, like right now I'm looking at a printer 
it's just a regular printer, regular paper. But since I've opened everything up, I've opened up my sense of smell, you know, my feeling sense on the floor with my feet. Um, my visual field is expanded. The printer looks, it looks, it looks a little twinkly, I have to say. It's clearer and sharper, but it also has like a bigger presence. Um, might sound strange until you try it, but trust me, uh, things will have their own presence. So what you're feeling at that point and seeing is that each, each different thing, a rock, a printer, a piece of paper, it has its own energy. And you'll be able to pick up on that, however slightly, it'll be there and you'll feel it and you'll see it. Just by observing and then engaging your senses, uh, you'll really be able to integrate your spirit sense, your sixth sense, into your everyday life. So try it, you know, a couple times just standing still, wherever you are, out at a store, in your backyard. Um, try it standing still and then after you get the hang of it, do it while you're walking. Do it while you're actually moving around. Do it while you're out running your errands. Um, and then things will start to really jump out at you. This is where your intuition will be even more helpful. So like, say you're at the grocery store, you're in the produce section, and you never look at the bin with uh, the apples and the oranges in it. Okay, so you just pass by, you don't even see it, it doesn't register in your mind. Um, now, all of a sudden, you see the oranges and they're glistening and they're, I could really go for an orange. And you buy some oranges and they're delicious. Yes, this is a very weird example, but it's not just the oranges and the apples that'll look different to you. It's anything else that's going to align with you and help you on your journey, make you happier, align and affirm yourself, etc. So in doing this and observing your environment and engaging with it, with all your senses and your, with your spirit, you know, out in front and center, telling you things like how glistening and wonderful the printer is or how delicious that orange looks. Um, everything else that will help you will also sort of pop into your mind as being like, huh, I never thought of that before, or I never saw that that way, or maybe I do want to buy some kale this week. Um, it's just easier for your intuition to speak up if the rest of you is already engaged. Um, being on autopilot all the time doesn't really give you the opportunity to see new things and be open to new ideas because you're not really fully functional and you're not embodying yourself. You're sort of like off in space and it's really hard for your system to give you new insight when you're off in space. Um, also, you know, if you're too tired and all that stuff. So make sure you get enough rest. Um, yeah, and try it out. Let me know how it goes. I'm really excited to see what you have to say. Uh, next week will be a different theme, so I hope you get the most out of this week you can. Thanks for watching. This is our first mini class. The theme is Observe, and uh, let me know how you do. I'm Rachel Andrews, and you are at sufferers.com, and thanks. See you next week.